So, uh, Shravin, so great to have you back Thank in you. Berlin. Thank uh, you for having me. Yes. Um, have we been knowing each other now for over six years, I think. That's and correct. Yeah, uh, we got introduced, I think, through a common friend who's also based in Berlin, so a lot of, lot of ties to the city. Yes, and I know that a lot of very exciting things happened since then. Um, do you want to introduce yourself? Sure. And who are you, Shravin? And uh, how and when did you find and why did you find Unbound? No, super. How well, found Unbound? Uh, thank you, uh, Maru, for having me. Um, to explain sort of what we're doing at Unbound, um, maybe I'll give a little bit of background. I think that might help set, set the context. Uh, I grew up in uh, New Delhi, India, uh, in a very entrepreneurial family. Uh, my father started uh, a telecommunications company called Airtel, uh, which is now 400 million subscribers uh, between India and in Africa. Um, I studied in the United Kingdom, typical boring stuff. I did the accounting and finance. I was a banker with, with JP Morgan, focused on M&A uh, in technology. And so my life was always being surrounded by technology. Uh, I've always been curious about uh, new innovations that are happening. I then joined our telecommunication business when we made the ac acquisition of Zane in Africa. So I was the first management, one of the first few to actually go to, to Africa. I lived there for about a year and a half. Um, I lived in seven countries. I did everything from selling SIM cards on the road uh, to putting the dish on the network. Uh, it's the only way I actually understood how, uh, you know, the infrastructure layer uh, in telecommunications work, which was a phenomenal experience. Um, after that, I, I, I went to business school for a couple of years, and then I was back in the finance world um, at a distressed private equity firm, and we would go buy distressed assets and actually go turn those businesses around. So I would be, you know, thrown into those businesses and being told, don't, don't show your face unless this business is now turned around and, and doing better, uh, which was, again, a phenomenal experience that was based in London. And then I took a very interesting switch. I actually joined SoftBank, which is now the Vision Fund. So I saw the birth of the Vision Fund, uh, which is making, you know, uh, lots, of, uh, lots of noise in, in terms of the capital that they've deployed. But through that journey, uh, you know, came to the realization that I wanted to, something, to start something of my own. Um, and hence, you know, we started Unbound. The entire concept of Unbound is how do you deploy long-term capital uh, in disruptive technology businesses? The entire concept, the genesis of Unbound is about building companies. Uh, so it's very much an investor-operator mindset. Um, it combines, I, I think, elements of learnings that I've had in my life. Um, you know, Unbound was started 18 months ago. Uh, we've already invested in 10 companies. By design, we've stayed under the radar, I guess, until yeah. now, uh, thanks to you. Um, we're a global, uh, you know, investment holding company. Um, you know, we've uh, been, been lucky enough to invest in some great entrepreneurs. We've got two companies here. Uh, so Freight Hub and, and Omnia's Freight Hub actually just announced their round of financing a month ago. Uh, we're, we're really excited about that. So Unbound is building and backing the next generation of 100-year companies. Yeah. Um, why such, such a long-term uh, view? Hey, again, it, it uh, goes back to a little bit of a historical context. In, in uh, the way sort of I've uh, been fortunate enough to be part of different organizations to actually build a business, uh, which is the core focus of Unbound, you're talking about at least a decade. And so for us, it's not about you know, investment for the sake of investment. It's like, how do you actually build a business? Yeah. And for us, you know, you have to take a longer term outlook. You have to have longer term capital. You have to be patient. Every business will have its own ups and downs. And, you know, one should not run scared if, if things don't go the way you plan it. Um, you know, for us, if you're looking at healthcare, how do you make, um, you know, medicines cheaper in emerging markets? Those are like fundamental infrastructural issues that will take a very long time to solve. And to solve that, you need a very different type of capital. Same thing with autonomous driving. I mean, if I would, I would imagine most of the people here would agree that autonomous driving will be in existence. The question is when. And we don't want to take that duration risk. What we do want to take is the technological bet that that will be in existence at, at some point in time, and, and hence the long-term view. So um, how does Barty, your family business, um, fit into this equation? And uh, why did you set up Unbound separately from that? And um, yeah, what differenti differentiates it from uh, your family holding company? No, I get, I get uh, asked that question a lot. Um, 
So I, I'm lucky enough to be uh, you know, wearing two hats. Um, the, the primary hat of my life is Unbound. Um, and as I explained, we're investing in disruptive technological businesses. Bharti, um, I'm, I obviously was part of the uh, family telecommunications business. I sit on the board of our, our telecom business in Africa, sit on the board of some of our other smaller telecom companies. I actually manage all of our international investments, which range from real estate, hospitality, oil and gas, uh, container financing business. And, you know, the, the two are, uh, it's, it's a very symbiotic relationship between the two entities. I get to see how incumbent businesses were built, how profitable businesses were built, uh, you know, what it takes to, to, to grind out in, in building multi billion dollar organizations. And those businesses will likely be enabled or disrupted by technology. Yeah. And, uh, and hence, you know, Unbound has to have a mind of its own, has to have, you know, the right incentives of its own, has to have a um, a team that's totally independent in, in Mindshare because we are sitting in, in a very unique vantage point where we can see the incumbent businesses and we can see what's disrupting um, the incumbent businesses and we can look at the technological business and say, okay, what are you actually doing that the incumbents are not able to do? So we're, we're lucky enough to, to have that uh, vantage point and hence they're, they're, they're separate entities. So you mentioned already you're invested in two companies here in Berlin. So. Um, and you're a global company, and uh, what is your investment strategy? So which sectors are you particularly excited about? And um, wh at which stage do you usually get involved? Sure. Um, so again, we're, we're a sort of global investment arm. Mm -hmm. And so for us, what we do is we spend a lot of time thinking about sectors, themes that we believe are ripe for disruption again for the long term. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we invest in what is called, uh, traditionally called a Series B company, decent product market fit, a bit of commercial traction. And again, this goes to a little bit of historical context, which is, you know, we've been uh, part of a journey which is scaling, you know, many businesses globally. And it's something that we as a team understand really well. It's something that we want to partake in. Um, so we're very clear on, on, on that focus. Um, in, in terms of our sectors, you know, again, we're looking at you know, big transformational sectors. You know, so for us, healthcare, how do you actually make, like I mentioned earlier, how do you make medicines cheaper in Africa? How does that actually happen? What is the, the process? You have to you know, um, you know, keep, compete with the basic infrastructure in, in those regions, which are fundamentally different and difficult. Uh, we're, we're spending time on cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is very tangential to mobile telecommunications, and we have a very unique vantage point of understanding endpoint security, network security, and how they actually work, what are the new technologies that are helping you protect your device. Uh, we spend time on financial services, primarily focused on emerging markets. Again, you know, there's a user base of 400 million users in India and in Africa, and how do you provide them financial access? How do you provide them loans? How do you give them a credit score? And those are you know, big infrastructural, structural challenges that, that we are looking to solve. And then finally, uh, you know, health and wellness and fitness. And so I'm a big you know, sports fanatic. I basically watch sports 24-7. I think my entire family is fed up with me. But that intersection of technology and sports and using data analytics to enhance uh, you know, gameplay is, is, is a big area of passion for me. So looking at all your global activities and also your uh, investments here in Europe in, in, in Berlin, um, how important do you think to have a global approach uh, to investing um, versus uh, European focus? So we've been, you know, we've been lucky that we've had three companies in Europe. We've got ten globally. Uh, three are in Europe, two are in actually in Berlin. You know, our view is we take a very uh, thematic view, and this is sectoral view. Is if we're looking at, uh, you know, cybersecurity, where are the best cybersecurity coming from? Mm -hmm. Uh, where is the, the right uh, companies being formed? Same thing with healthcare or financial services. And so for us, the first lens that we view is, where is the, what is the sector that we're really passionate about? Where do we think there's a long-term disruption that's actually possible? And then let's go find the right company. Likelihood is that we'll have companies in Europe that will likely go to Asia, India, Africa at some point in time. And we'll be a great partner to actually go along those journeys. And it's the same thing. We are now starting to see European businesses that are ready to go global. And how do we help those businesses glo glo go global? And so we have a global mindset, but you know, we are based in London, so naturally we gravitate towards a lot of the European businesses. And uh, you know, we've been lucky to, to partner with some phenomenal companies. I'm sure you will find some very exciting companies here. So, but what is your mission uh, to come to Berlin today? Well, uh, as always, I, I end up coming to NOAA through your invitation, so thank you for having me uh, here. 
you know, just like uh, you know, um, any other holding company, our entire idea is to find new partners, find new businesses um, that are solving big structural problems. You know, I met a couple of great businesses earlier on through your introduction uh, that really need that patient long-term capital. And you know, those are the types of companies that, that we want to come find, which might not fall within the standard venture mindset, uh, but are still solving you know, huge infrastructural issues. Um, and you know, I'm just just very glad that you know I was able to come to to Berlin again. Um, you know, it's it's a you know great dynamic uh, entrepreneurial environment, and I love coming and spending time here. So, you know, it's 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 been a pleasure. Uh, and one point you wanted to mention regarding women. Oh no, we've <laughs> I wanted to pick it. <laughs> um, no, we we're, we're very lucky. I don't know. Whether it's happened by chance or it's a coincidence, but we've been lucky. So 40% of our company is actually led by women, and you know we're very, very blessed that you know we have that ecosystem. We have women that are really changing yeah. uh, a lot of the uh, or disrupting a lot of the industries, and you know we're a big supporter of that. And I'm very glad, and we'll hopefully you know keep that trend and maybe see it go up to 50%. That's the unbound target that we want to have 50% of our company should be uh, female entrepreneur led. And I'm really thankful that you are saying this and thank you for coming to of Berlin. Course. Thank and you I'm so much. Sure there are a lot of uh, very cool startups here you would love to partner with you. I'm, I'm also sure they will be. I, I, I'm sure you will introduce me to yeah. many of them. So Thanks thank you so much. for coming. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.